This is a sports catastrophe production. Hey there, Heather Ho, there's Jeff Cutter Diamond. Welcome to another sports catastrophe on this day. And before I get to on this day, on June the 27th in 2001, I do want to say that there will be no birthday boy slash girl today, and there will be no videos, no sports catastrophe tomorrow, but June 28th is a dead day to me. So instead, you will be getting a stream of golf and headed goal videos. Just to tell you, the 28th will be no sports catastrophe. That will be filled with golf and soccer videos. Anyhow, let's get to the on this day. So Kwame Brown was drafted the 2001 NBA draft. So Kwame Brown was it? So the 2001 draft happened. A lot of players were there, and it was looked good. There were some great players from overseas to help out, and Washington had the number one pick. In fact, this was the last draft the Vancouver Grizzlies participated in while in the original city. Weeks later, they would move to Memphis before the 2001 season. And Charlotte, this was the last time Charlotte had a team in the draft. The following year, they went to New Orleans as the Pelicans, and then an expansion Charlotte team known as the Bobcats were later reformed in 2004. The Timberwolves had to forfeit their first round pick because of salary cap violations. So I wonder who they would have taken. I wonder who, what pick they would have had. Regardless of that, no. So the number one pick was Washington's. The Clippers had the number two pick. The Hawks had the number three pick. When you look at all the players after Kwame Brown who were drafted, you will understand. So anyway, as we all know, Kwame Brown, power forward from Glen Academy in Georgia, was picked number one. Washington fell in love with him. Michael Jordan fell in love with him as part of the Washington crew. And let's not forget that Michael Jordan actually went back to Washington to be a player. So he thought Kwame Brown would be a good player. Well, unfortunately, not so much. Kwame Brown was a bust. But more on Kwame Brown later. But the number two pick, the Clippers took Tyson Chandler, center from California High School, Compton. Straight out of Compton. Tyson Chandler was good, but the Clippers had no use for him, so they decided to train him to Chicago. Big mistake, Clippers. You clipped it again. The Bulls used Tyson Chandler pretty well. The number three pick went to Atlanta, and they took great power forward from Barcelona. Barcelona. Do, 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 do. Paul Gasol. So the Hawks may have hit the jackpot. Then they traded him to Vancouver. Are you nuts? Trade him to the Grizzlies franchise, as it turned out. Are you nuts? Why? Would Atlanta draft Gasol and then trade him? Big mistake, Atlanta, because Paul Gasol was a Grizzlies and Lakers legend. The Bulls had the fourth pick and took Eddie Curry, center from Illinois, uh, South, South Holland, Illinois, high school. So Eddie Curry, so the Bulls got their center. But the weird thing is, Tyson Chandler was traded to Chicago during the draft. It was like, the Bulls have two centers in the top four. Unfortunately, Curry's career would be marred by a heart defect that ruined his career. Golden State pulled a giant play with the fifth pick from Michigan State. And the first NCAA player drafted was number five, and that was Michigan State sophomore center shooting guard Jason Richardson. Boy, Golden State proved themselves worthy. Richardson became a two-time slam dunk competition winner. And he would help Golden State get back to respectability. Jay Rich is an icon. And Washington, Clippers, Atlanta, and Chicago all passed on. Big mistake. The Grizzlies took Shane Battier, small forward from Duke, as a senior. Great move by the Grizzlies. It would have been great saying Shane Battier could save the Vancouver Grizzlies. Well, he'll save the Grizzlies, but the Memphis Grizzlies. I'm like, fuck. I didn't want a team moving from Canada to the United States. I have symptoms of withdrawal when the Jets and Nordiques left for Arizona and Colorado, respectively. Of course, everyone knows there's a Winnipeg Jets team, but that team came from Atlanta, so that was the original Jets that moved. Number seven, the New Jersey Nets took Eddie Griffin from Seton Hall. 
good power forward, freshman, but the Nets thought they didn't need him, so they traded him to Houston, and he was pretty good. I believe Eddie Griffin passed away. Yeah, he died in 2007 in a car crash, but yeah, sad to see that. Eddie Griffin, of course, also had personal problems. With the eighth pick, Cleveland took from Oak Hill Academy, a center, yeah, originally from Senegal, Desenia Diop. So that was a huge move. Cleveland made a big bust. Detroit took with a nice pick from Charlotte University, freshman Roddy White, forward, didn't work out. And Boston took shooting guard from Arkansas, Sue sophomore Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson would be better known as a Phoenix Suns legend, but he's an Arkansas legend, so fight me on it. Woo um, other notable moves. Houston took Richard Jefferson from Arizona, but small forward. Unfortunately, they traded him to New Jersey. So it was Griffin. It was the Griffin for Jefferson trade. Wow. Houston got the better of that trade. I mean, New Jersey got the better of the trade. Jefferson, a next legend. Golden State took from Notre Dame junior power forward Troy Murphy. Stephen Hunter went to Orlando from Nepal. 16th, 17th, the Raptors took Michael Bradley from Villanova. That's not bad. Jason Collins went to Houston via Stanford. Jason Collins, I think he died, was he? Oh, no, sorry. That's the other guy, Jason Collier. But Jason Collins, okay, good. Portland, with the 19th pick, took power forward from Michigan State freshman Zach Randolph, and it worked out. Cleveland took Brandon Hayward, who would be better known as a Washington center, but Senator Washington needed instead of Kwame Graham. Joe Wells went 25th to Sacramento from Alabama. Sam Dalibert, who was Canadian at the time of the draft, went, to, went from Senior Hall to the Philadelphia 76ers, 26th overall. The, Gri the Grizzlies took Jamal Tinsley, 27th from the Iowa State. Good senior, good point guard, but Tinsley didn't play for the Grizzlies franchise. And Tony Parker with the last official pick because Minnesota missed their first round pick because of salary cap violations. Tony Parker went to went to San Antonio from a Paris team, and people thought San Antonio was on the rocker. Well, the problem was San Antonio just screwed everyone over. Tony Parker, icon. In the second round, Golden State took Gilbert Arenas from Arizona. He would be better known for his Washington standards, but of course he had that handgun in the locker room. Detroit took with the 38th pick, Mehmet Okur from. Turkey, who was a decent center. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much it. Andres Nazioni and Carlos Arroyo were undrafted, but they played in the NBA. So, I mean, so Kwame played five years with Washington. Unfortunately, the hype was not there for Kwame, and he did not do so well. With injuries and Michael Jordan being a dick at times. He would then go on to play for the Lakers from 2005 2008 and shocked everyone by actually winning an NBA title. I think he won. Did he win an NBA title? I don't think he did. No, he didn't win an NBA title. I thought he did. I thought Kwame Brown won an NBA title with the Lakers. That's not. So, yeah. That's about it. He would play for Memphis, Detroit, Charlotte, Golden State, and Philadelphia, among others. But he never was there. So, anyway, yeah. So, Kwame Brown was not really that great of a player. He was a terrible, terrible move by the Washington Wizards. Now, a lot of people compare him as a bust with Darko Milicic of the 2003 NBA draft. But the thing is, Kwame's more of a bust than Milicic. Well, not only because he Kwame was a number one pick and Milicic was a number two pick, but the fact is Milicic, even though he was number two, he was terrible. He played for the 2004 Pistons and won the NBA title, so he got a ring. Kwame Brown didn't, so Milicic wasn't a complete bust. At least he won a ring, whereas Kwame Brown never did. So, talk about things going south in a hurry. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond, I do.